When we need to separate the Android phone screen, what should we need to note? A very important thing is some OCA of Android screens may not be able to absorb UV light. So, please pay attention to knowing it before marking. The UV laser cannot mark on some LCD screens. So what specific operating methods and thoughts? Let me show you. Let's open a drawing. Choose Samsung model. Now we can see a frame drawing. Here is laser parameter setting. Laser power. We set it as 12%. Why set 12%? Because 12% is low power. When we place the screen in the laser room and click print F2, use 12% power to mark. In this way, even if you didn't place it properly and cause the LCD of the screen is marked, the screen won't be damaged. After the marking is completed, take it out and check to see if it has marked the edge but not marked on the LCD. When you've confirmed that laser didn't mark the LCD, but the glue of the frame of screen, then you can adjust the power, adjust to 70%. Then click Print F2. At this time, it will use high power to quickly ablate the glue on the frame and won't damage the LCD. If there are some screens that can't be marked in full screen, it will be damaged by 70% power. Why do we need to mark with 12% power before 70%? We need to verify it first, to check whether the screen is placed properly. When it's aligned, use the 70% power. If not, do not use the 70% power. So, just use 12% power to check it first. Please pay attention to this.